Hey everybody, it's me Kirsten from Bacon and Bellini. I am here today, we have a little different, um, something different we're gonna do today. Okay, so as you know, a lot of the restaurants are closed right now. Um, and then for the ones who aren't closed, they are offering delivery and carry out. So please still go visit your local restaurants. They need your support. Uh, but some restaurants we can't visit, some are closed, and some we go to just specifically for the experience, right? So, what do you do when you want to go to a restaurant for the experience and you can't recreate the experience at home, okay? And then have like a virtual party with your friends. So, what we're gonna make today is a dish from a restaurant I really like going to. Uh, you all have heard of it, I'm sure. And there's a bunch of different types. So it's like Benihana, uh, all of uh, Benihana, Shogun, all the restaurants where they prepare the dish on the grill in front of you, in front of your whole party. Uh, Connie House, that's another one. So Benihana, Connie House, Shogun. So I've already started boiling the water for my rice. So I got, I know I got fancy here. So I got some basmati rice because, you know, supermarkets were light on a lot of the materials. So anyway, I've already rinsed my rice. Okay, here we go. Let's turn on the light here. And let's get the spoon. Or can you see? Oh, you can't see. Okay, here we go. Cooking tutorials. I'm gonna pour the rice into some boiling water. Oh, I think I was supposed to put butter in here. Uh, it's okay. Just put butter in now. All right. There we go. So, I've already messed up my stove. That's okay. Anyway, so we'll move the rice um, and just let that cook for as long as it takes rice to cook. Okay. Now at this point, when you're in your restaurant visit, this is probably the time where, you know, you're walking in, you're waiting for the rest of your party, you're sitting at the front, you're like, okay, let's see what's going on here. You may go get something to drink at the bar. Oh. For our drink for today, sangria. This is all natural from the farm. Red wine, red wine made with organic grapes. Ooh, sangria, you can find this at Wegmans and it's, it's like $6 at Wegmans, but you have to go to Virginia because you know in Maryland they don't sell wine at supermarkets. But I never. So, oh, let me get you some tea. So we'll let this cook for a minute. Hold on, stop this. Okay, hey everybody, Kirsten again for Bacon and Bellini, as you know. So since we're cooking today, let's have on our official chef hat. Chef friends, don't get mad at me. I'm not a real chef. I'm just playing one on TV right now, okay? So I know it's my chef hat. If you would like one, I'll, I make these, so I can make you one, anyway. So the rice is boiling. Can you hear that? Just turn down the heat and then cover it. So it'll just simmer for like 20 minutes. Okay. So I didn't tell you what I was making. So we are gonna do, we're gonna start simple here, you guys. We're gonna do a fried, a vegetable fried rice. Benihana style, right? Okay. Okay, so I don't have a griddle and I, you know, Macy's is closed, so I can't go buy one. So we're just gonna use just a regular saucepan instead of a griddle. But we'll be able to do it, it'll be great. Okay, let's go. Um, so, ingredients, what do you need? Soy sauce, an onion, we got our rice, our vegetables. So I'm just using frozen vegetables today. Frozen vegetables. Frozen vegetables. This is our pot holder. You don't need that right now. Um, oh, I need an egg. Let's get 
get out an egg, or maybe two eggs. It was tough in those supermarket street streets. One of my eggs is broken. These two are broken though. And then here's a secret. I got some secret ingredients that I'm gonna put in this rice. Tell you guys about. See a true chef, like they'll show you how to cook something, but here's a secret everybody. They'll show you how to cook something, but they're gonna leave out some ingredients. Trust me, because they're gonna want you to buy it from them. They're gonna want you to hire them. And you should, because these chefs are great. Okay. So, that's just my spiel on that. So this is the interim part. The rice, as you see, is still cooking. Got it. But we can have wine while we wait, and then we gotta chop up our onion and all that. But here's our same thing. onion volcano so it's very simple you just chop up your onion and then just stack it so far so good okay so we're gonna start on our rice let's see turn on our heat I'm gonna use olive oil because that's just what I use I'm still using the sesame oil, we're going to use that for something. We're going to do a combination. I hope that works. Let me know, everybody, if you think that'll work. Okay, so that's uh, measure carefully. It looks like a tablespoon and a half, maybe two. Anyway, so let that go. Now, we're going to do our onion volcano. Can you see? Let's see. Can you see? Just pretend I'm a camera person. Okay. All right, now you can see. So here's our onion volcano. Can you see? So I'm gonna take the onion volcano. Oh, I gotta, we gotta let, this, let it get hot first, y'all. have all your supplies ready. Okay, what kind of cooking demo is this? Okay, here we go. We're back. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. My, my onion volcano. It's fine. I'll let you guys see how I did it. Okay. So the onion volcano. Take this part of the onion. Oh, it's not, oh, it's not sizzling yet. Down this part of the onion. Can you see it? We're making our 
volcano. Ooh. Now it's starting to sizzle. Okay. And just like they do in the restaurants. Okay. Oh, I didn't tell you. Okay, I'm Chef Kirsten, Chef Kiri, or remember, I just play a chef on TV, not a real chef. Maybe I need to put that as a disclaimer. Okay. So. I would say don't try this at home, but everybody's at home, so try it at home. Let's see. Only if you're you know, old enough to cook, I guess. So this, I'm gonna put some sesame oil on here. Okay, so we put sesame oil on it. Now, I haven't tried this before. I'm trying this all with you guys. Now let's see if we can light it. Just like they do at the restaurant. Oh, it didn't work. What did I do? Somebody tell me, what did I do wrong? Aw. Ah, uh, light. Oh, maybe I should pour alcohol on it. Let me get my wine. I'll pour some wine on it. No, I don't want to pour wine on it. Make it, we gotta make it light up. Hold on, let me pause. I'm gonna pause and then we're gonna look on YouTube real quick. We'll figure it out. Okay, so you guys, I don't have time to try to figure out how to do it because our food's already going. Oh, it's popping! Okay, we're gonna do this. Okay. Now I gotta cut the onion. Now how are we gonna cut it? I'm supposed to cut it. How do they cut it on the TV? Oh, they cut it in the pot. Okay. Okay, well, let's see if we can do that. First, I'm gonna move this off of the heat because this thing is like whistling at me. Put that over there. Okay. Can you see me trying to cut this onion up? That ain't gonna work. Okay, let's. Don't, well, I don't know. You can do it how you wanna do it. Okay, let's see. Mm. So much for our nice little cute demonstration. I would use alcohol, but you know, just like toilet paper, there's no alcohol in the stores. And I don't have white wine, I just have my sangria, which I guess that could work too. So here's our onion, we're just gonna chop it up real quick. I'm gonna put it back in the pan. All right, so anyway, here we are. Let's put the oil back on the heat. Let's 
setback. It's not really a setback. So here's an actual carrot. Now, I'm gonna peel it really quickly. So these little carrots in this pot, they ain't gonna work. Okay. Anyway, peeler. As you see, I love like the tangerine kitchen and eat everything. But anyway, so let's peel this. Ah! All right, got that. Boom, now we got some carrots. See how we did that? Not gonna stop us. All right. Okay, so we cook in that. The onions have cooked. Yeah. Okay. See? So far, so good. This pot is this pan ain't gonna be big enough. We're gonna figure it out. Okay. Let me move this back because now you know how to do on the videos right now, they just be like, woo, woo, woo. We got our eggs. Oh man, I'm scared. Oh! Okay. You know, we ain't about, okay, let's practice. Let's practice with this lemon. So you know how you catch the egg in your hand? Okay, we go. This lemon might be a little heavy. Let's try with Candle. Okay, we'll try with a candle. Okay, let's practice. Oh, 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 I caught it. I caught it. Okay, so let's catch the egg. Let's catch the egg. Let's catch the egg. Here we go. Here we go. Can you see me? Can you see me? I caught the candle. Let's catch the egg. Oh, it's on. Okay, we're gonna try the egg one more time. Woo! Okay, caught the egg or just pretend I caught it. Cause we ain't about wasting no food around here. Drop an egg. Mm -mm. It's not what we are here to do. So, aha. And then always keep like a garbage bag or garbage clothes. So you don't have to like keep opening the garbage, stuff like that. After, every time I crack eggs and things like that, I always wash my hands. Because... Oh my. Now, 
Um, I gotta add my secret ingredient. Secret ingredient. All right. Secret ingredient. Okay, you got me. The secret ingredient. And this would have been a vegan dish, but I added the egg. So if you if you want it to be a completely vegan dish, just don't add the egg. So, sorry, I messed it up for you guys. So first of all, let's taste this. Let's see what we got. What do you think? Mm, it's cold. always room for bacon and